<laughs> yeah, seriously, you're gonna get to go home before 10:30. Oh my How do you gosh. feel about that? I'm gonna go get deli food and go home. <laughs> what do you get from the deli? They have like this spicy dragon like sandwich that has like every Ooh. spicy thing ever. It's so good. Oh. If you can, if you like spicy stuff, I would recommend it. From the I one with the nice waypoint. That sounds fantastic, and that is uh, very unfortunate. Gecko has not had very good luck with those barrels today. It feels like every no. single person has learned how to uh, pretty much stuff them off stage. I mean, the rotor arms from Rob, the banana kill from Duck Hunt, just very unfortunate. Mm hmm. You know it, that's it, not gonna get to Peko. Peko's not gonna let it. Nah, he's strong. Vin's strong. Peko got it. So what he's gonna have to do though is, yeah, not strong enough. He had to stop willingly going off stage like that, and you have to just kind of wait out because you gotta expect they're gonna come and mess up your barrels. You yeah. know. That's what Dill did, that's what Fawn is doing right now, very exceptionally, exceptionally well as well. So it's just like, how do we keep ourselves oh. more tethered on this stage? Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, as we see here, you know what he probably needs? Probably needs a little bit of Coca-Cola. You can buy Coca-Cola at the front of Xeno. And that's, a, what, three up airs, I think? Three up airs in a row. It's a rule three now, don't you know? Yeah. Ducko also has that, that privilege of having one of the best up airs in the game. And yes. it's just like, yes. It just lasts so long. Oh, Fawn is vibing. Fawn is in the zone here. Gecko trying to... Like, you see their face? Like, yeah. that's when you know that they're, they're there. Mm -hmm. They are... They got it. You know, she's so in the zone. She's got it. She got that nice three stock. Like, it's... That's all you need. Exactly. Okay, I know what Gecko can do different. No, no shot. Straighten out that posture. Nah, that's the gamer lean. The gamer lean? The gamer lean isn't working. Oh, we're going Game & Watch? Yeah, so I was saying, the Game the game & Watch is real. <gasps> Whoa, that okay. Was that was insane. sick. On, like, reaction, too, because when they spawn in, it's super sometimes really difficult to gauge when that shot's gonna come at you so fast. Yeah. So that's what we're able to bucket it is so huge. And look at that. You have infinitely better air time, better air speed, better stuff in the air than Duck Hunt does because you're literally Game & Watch. Look at it. Look how high he yeah. can go. Yo, Game & Watch that. better than Diddy Kong? Confirmed? Low-key. Mm -hmm. Low-key. I mean, Game & Watch, a character of many faces, having had more jobs than Homer Simpson. And uh, one more death. As Becca goes to second stock. The only thing that's going to suck here is the, the weight difference between Diddy and Game Watch. Yes. That's going to suck really bad. But the very least, and also what's going to be a little bit of a struggle is not not that Game Watch can't kill, it's getting to that point where you can connect your shots to get the kill. Exactly. You know, because Game, really Game Watch can't kill. Yep. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, obviously we're going to get boxes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if you overcommit, Bond's going to capitalize and get those up smashes. So or those barrels. Oh. Yeah, so so Peko has to just deal a very fine line. And look, boom. A At the very into oh, the very. No. They, they oh, just, no. You know, they're, they're, they're joshing around. I don't, I don't know about I that. I love it. <laughs> I was like three taunts in a row. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I love taunting like mid-game. Oh, me too. It's, it's great. so funny. And then you get punished really hard. And it's like, why are you getting mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... It, it's, it's part of the whole of thing. Course. It's part of the game. It's a mental... <gasps> okay. Up there, up there. I'm sorry, that's two, that's, that's two oh, nares. Trampoline? No. Alright, Peko, unfortunately... On the, uh, no! Went right I into that. I saw ah. the vision, but unfortunately the hitbox just wasn't big enough on the side yeah. to interrupt the, the up smash. That's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> but you know what? Good job to Peko. And Fawn moving on in brackets. Looks like they're going to be playing against... Uh, well, we don't actually quite know just they're yet. They're going to have to wait for... Well, we're bringing on Glutame and King to finish up real fast. Yeah. Then we're going to get RPR... RPR. RPR. <laughs> yes, RPR. Yes, RPR. Actually, yes, RPR helper to go and fight the winner of Glutame and King. And then lastly, but certainly not least, then we'll see the results of that for Fawn to deal with. All right. Now, speaking of which, uh, I am going to switch off with uh, Ritual. Trust me. You want to have them here for top six. They're going to be fantastic. And uh, you're in good hands, Mott. I'm so sorry to I leave am. you so soon. but uh, I'm so hey. little and cute. I'm, I'm in everyone's good hands. That's right. Exactly. Well, too bad I got to start lifting so I can actually, like, carry you. It's okay. You punched me earlier, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never play Smash again. Like <laughs> <laughs> Don't carry me without telling me first. That's true. That's true. All right. You're not that short. 